It took the Harper government only three months to get the Americans to back down and pay back and stop collecting illegal tariffs on soft wood. When this Prime Minister took office, the Americans smelled weakness and they slapped those tariffs right back on. And you know what? He backed down. The Harper government got an exemption to buy America laws. And within months of this Prime Minister taking office, the Americans slapped it right back on again and he backed down again. He's now even saying he can't protect our borders against illegal border crossing without the permission of the United States President. Will he announce resolutions to these problems tomorrow, or will he just back down again? Yeah. The right Honourable Prime Minister. Canadians face one of the most significant threats to our jobs, to our growth, to our prosperity in the threat of cancellation of NAFTA. The recommendation from Mr. Harper, the recommendation from the Conservatives, oh, you need to capitulate. But that's not what Canadians did. That's not what this government did. We stood strongly. We got them to lift tariffs on steel and aluminum. We renegotiated NAFTA in our favour. We continue to stand up uh, for Canadians, uh, Canadian workers right across the country. We will take no lessons in capitulation to Americans from the Conservatives, Mr. Speaker. Right. Honourable. It's hard to really fathom how badly he's capitulated on Buy America. Get this straight. Harper got an exemption to Buy America in the Obama era to protect our construction workers and their paychecks. This Prime Minister allowed Trump to slap Buy America on, and then he signed a deal that would allow the expansion of Buy America from just being at the state level to the federal level. And now the Mexicans have an exemption from Buy America, and we don't. This is a catastrophic failure for our construction workers as a result of this Prime Minister's weakness. Will he get a deal to end Buy America for Canadians tomorrow? Yeah. 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 Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Protecting Canadian jobs and ensuring growth for the future is a deeply serious issue that must be taken seriously, which is why you really shouldn't be just making stuff up as the Leader of the Opposition is. Uh, the fact of the matter is we will continue uh, to stand up for Canadian jobs and work closely with the Americans on making sure we're competitive with the world. Uh, this is the approach that we've always taken uh, with our partners to the South. We will continue to take this seriously instead of looking for you know, venal partisan advantage. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, it is a fact that Buy America remains in place today on Canada and that it has been expanded under this Prime Minister to include the federal government, something that was specifically exempted from the earlier NAFTA. But Trump demanded it, and this Prime Minister was in the habit of backing down to everything Trump demanded. Now, we thought that when Trump was gone, that he was going to have an easier time, but now Biden is pushing him around. Mr. Speaker, putting partisanship aside, I think we as Conservatives can all agree we don't like any Prime Minister, including a Liberal Prime Minister, to be pushed around like this by an American President. Will he end it tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah.